Hello, I'm going to show you how to make a mono pitch roof. Let's have a look at them. Some examples, here's one here. You'll often find these in garden offices and small sheds and lean tunes because it's cheap and easy to build. Mono pitch roof there, and the one that I'm going to refer to, which is a great building. If I can find it, yes, this one here. I really like this one, this design here. Can be really, even big houses having mono pitched roofs. So let's head over to Tinkercad and have a look. Here's an example I made earlier, and I'm going to show you how to do something similar. Grab a block, give it a basic footprint that you're happy with. Let's go for 45 by, should say 35. Let's give it a standard building color. Now we need to put the work plane on top and we're going to use um, one of the existing shapes, which is this one, the wedge. We put the wedge on top, we rotate it 90 degrees. And we give it the same footprint as the top of the roof, which is 45 and 35. 45 along, wide, long, 35 deep. Hold down shift so that both are select selected, aligning them. I don't want the base to move, so I'm just going to click on the base and then you can align it like that. Set the, the pitch, the slope of the roof to how you want it. I'm gonna to refer to this one here. So yeah, that looks about right, maybe 16. Okay, now we're not gonna group these together yet and you'll see why shortly. Let's just give that a slightly different color. No, I don't know, not a hole, just a slightly different color. All the same color. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put the work plane because um, obviously there's no overhang there. The rain will just get on the cladding and down the walls, which is not what we want. So you're going to press the work plane, click on the top of the the roof. Now you can see the numbers are slightly different because of the slope, because the geometry, this number's changed. So we're going to create another, get another block, another cube, and we're going to set that to the sizes of this face here which is 38.48 and the other dimension will be the same as before 45 and then to make it quicker to align I'm just going to go hold down shift click the roof align click on the roof because I don't want it to move align there align there and that's exactly the um, size of the roof I want it to be and in reality I want it to be a little bit bigger so we have an overhang so let's just set the roof thickness that you want what's the that's a reasonable thickness yeah and I'm gonna make it enlarge it from the center so hold down shift and alt um, and enlarge it from the center just give it the size overhang that you want This shift alt tool is so so handy. There we go. And you can give it a suitable colour, any colour you look colour you like, depending on what material you've used. And there is your um thing here. The reason that I didn't group the this top bit of the building and the base together is that if I was to do so um, come on. It's having problems. Basically, it wouldn't give the correct um, size of this face because it would measure it to the ground. I should say oh, it's working now. Look. So if I group that together, and then I try to take a measurement from this top set, top face. Can you see it's actually taking the measurement all the way? It's much longer for some reason. So. Yeah, that's why we just group it together at the end. So we're control Z, get back to how we had it before. And that's how you make a mono pitch roof. Well, there we go.